afternoon, good evening. All right, ninjas, this is an incredible session, right? We are going to teach you how to use Periscope producer, right? So the producer, difference between just a live Periscope or Twitter live, go live, is that we can use production video, multi-camera, RTMP feed, think of three camera, five camera, live switches, ideal for concerts, ideal for corporate conferences, panel events, anything where you want to put professional video, you want to switch cameras, you want to add graphics, this is the way to do it. You do not need to use your iPhone, your tablet to create live video on Twitter. What's also cool about it is it's easy to use. So Ivan and I are going to walk you through it. Ivan, welcome to the show, my man. Hey, Dan. How hey, are you? How's it going, guys? All right. We love this. We've actually done our first live producer feed. Keep in mind, we were the first guys to show you how to do Facebook live streaming, YouTube live streaming, and now Periscope. So think about this. When you're doing professional video and you want to syndicate your content, send it to your YouTube page, send it to your Facebook page, and of course, send it to your Twitter page. And then coming soon down the road will be Snapchat and Instagram Live. But right now, let's talk about Periscope. Let's do walk it. them through it. Let's do it. First thing you have to do is you have to go to the website and you have to sign up to become a Periscope producer. It doesn't come with it. Don't think go live, which you get with the new app. You have to sign up with it. It's going to ask you your handle, your email address. It's going to ask you how you plan on encoding video. Username. Yep. Username, all this. And then you'll get a confirmation. And then a couple days later, you'll be allowed into the community. They're doing this because they want to make sure that you know what you're doing when you're Absolutely. creating this content. Yes. They have a couple limitations on it. It's going to limit you to 900K. What are some other limitations? What's the 900K, size? 900K. Uh, the video size will be 960 by 540, so you can't go full 720 or 1080p, but it's enough. But it's enough. And you can still add all your graphics, and what's also cool is people can it's, actually it's respond to it. It's 800K, by the way. 800K, not 800K. Yeah. You set up for 900, but it's 800K. Yeah. It's enough, right? It's a great way, especially if you're watching on this, and it looks really good when you watch on it your does. laptop, yeah. too. So, Ivan, after you get accepted, Mm -hmm. And you schedule it, right? Yeah, yeah. Show us what it looks like on the iPhone. What are you doing? Here's the other cool part. Even though you're going to need product like Wirecast or like an R-Case, you might want to encode with the Epithin hardware Pearl. Hardware is fine, yeah. The hardware does and all different hardware. RTMP encoder. They give you like 15 different yeah. choices, but yeah. you can use any one that does RTMP. The cool part is I get to control it after it's all set up from my iPhone. I mean, why don't we show them? Walk us through it. Okay, great. So now you'll see my iPhone here. So when you're on your Periscope page, You'll want to click on your My Profile in the upper right-hand corner. So click on that, and you'll bring, it brings up your page. So you'll get to see where your page is. What, now, like Ben was saying, you've got to sign up for the Periscope producer. Not go live. Don't think go live or Periscope not regular. Does not right. mean you can do RTMP and professional video. Yep, exactly. So when you, once you're on that page, you want to scroll down to so Settings. Cool. Okay, so if you are, if you've got the email, you've become a Periscope producer. Welcome to the club. Then you will have a new option called Advanced Settings under uh, Advanced Bam. Sources. Bam. So you click on Advanced Sources, and there you go. Actually, let's, uh, let's get rid of this one. This is my old one. So you'll see Create New Source. Awesome. So you create the new source. Good. It's going to give you your entry points. At this point, you can take your server URL and your stream name or stream key and you can apply that into whether it be Wirecast or any type of hardware. Cool. So how do you yeah. take it? Can we show on the screen? How do yeah. you put it into? Yeah, um, so let's do that right now, guys. But we're using, just we're not using Wirecast today, but Wirecast is a fine product. We're using this. So you might not be familiar with the interface of the Pearl, but Ivan's going to show you what, where you just put it on the Pearl. Sure. So you're going to copy. You copy your URL, and you want to copy the stream name, and you want to enter that into your encoding software or right. your encoding hardware. So let's do that right now. All right, Ivan, what are okay. you showing me so now? So now I'm going to actually switch over to my desktop. Download Wirecast. You can do it. They give you a couple, like 60 free days to play with the product if you want. You can download onto any Mac, any product, and then you can always purchase it. And there's other encoders, too, and everyone's coming out with new encoders every single day. Okay, so now we've entered the entry points into our encoding software. Good job. We've started it up. All right. Now let's go back All right. over to our... Periscope. All right. Tell me when you start it, and then we're okay. going to switch to now, my Periscope page. Oh, check this my, out. My Twitter page. Oh, so check this out. So 
I did this so you guys can see this. So now see the diagnostics? You're going to get some errors to fix because I'll show you why. Okay, so why am I getting these errors to fix? Well, because I was broadcasting out of 3,000. Instead of 800K? Instead of 800K. And because I was broadcasting out at 720. So let's go back and make that change, guys. So it's a really common error. So it, it's not possible to do the 3,000. It yep. just won't look good at 720. So let's go back and make that change. We changed it to 800 instead of 3,000. Important. And we moved the 720 to 960, awesome. 540. Awesome. We apply it. All right, now we'll go into his iPhone. And now you can see that the diagnostics have gone away. All the errors have gone away. We're looking good at 830, 837, and because we have to add some, some bit rate for the audio as well. And let's go preview broadcast. Looking good. What am I seeing? Oh, there we are. There we are. And now you just click go live. All right. And then what yeah. I'm going to show you in a couple seconds is here. He's gone live. He's tested it out. Now, check this out. Let's go to Ivan, why don't you go to my iPhone, my, my, my web page? All right. So here I'm on my computer looking at the page. And as you can see, there's, there's Ivan and I. All right. Obviously, you can click in to go bigger screen if you want. Yeah. And I'll show you what happens. If I go look at it on Periscope, watch, I'm going to launch this. And you're going to see the video in a second. There we go. There we go. So now we're basically on a full screen of Ivan and I. And watch, I'll bring this over so we have a little less of that. And now here we go. And watch, I'm going to be watching this. I'm actually going to say I love this. I'm going to put some notes, people saying they're, they're enjoying it. And there you go. So now we're actually I on the it. screen. And now it's Ivan so can great. go back to our video. And this there you go. Such a cool We've cool created video. a Periscope. Now here's what's really interesting about it too, is now when it's over, Ivan's going to end the event. Why don't you end the event, Ivan? Sure. And then we'll go back to my web page in a second. I'm going to go back to, I want to show you guys how to end the event. So this is how you end the event. Keep in mind, now you have an archive available. People can get to it via Periscope. They can get it via, via Twitter. You can take it <clears> off. You can do anything you want. You can syndicate that content. The key is, I mean, did you stop the event? I didn't, but I just want to uh, tell these guys one thing. If you want to leave this on your iPhone, you don't have to stop the broadcast. You can just click Leave Broadcast, and that allows you to do other things on your phone. But if you want to stop the broadcast, uh, it's very Which is important, intuitive. because if you don't, other devices, as soon as you leave it, it's going to stop it. We don't want that to happen by accident because your wife calls you or your yeah. friend calls you. So you can either leave the broadcast or stop the broadcast. So he's going to stop I'm the broadcast. stop it right now. Here we go. And isn't that incredible, guys? I love that tool. And now what's pretty cool about it, guys, is now in my Periscope and on my on-demand, it's available. So, guys, Ivan, why don't you go back to my web page? Okay. Or back go. to my Twitter page. Yep. And as you can see, check this out, guys. The event has ended, but look, now my entire program's here. And watch, I can, I can take the cursor, jump forward, jump forward more. I can go to anywhere I want in the program, and that's like pretty cool. And then also, if I want to go look at it on Periscope, here's what's pretty cool thing that happens now on Periscope. It's going to list all my old videos, and here's the one. And look, it's showing you the program over again, which is really cool. And then, of course, I can Lovely. stop it. Yeah. I can start it up again. I can drive it forward. The sky's sort of limit on it. It's, it's a great technology. I wanted to go back to our video, and it's idea here is we just want to show you Love it, guys. how you can watch an event and how you can use Periscope Live. That is our quick tutorial on Periscope Producer. Go out and create some high-end video. From Ben and Ivan, we're out of here.